Good morning to everybody. Thanks to be here. Uh, my name is Patricia Orillo. Um, I'm the founder and the project manager of Wikisfera, a user group, uh, a feminist user group based in, in Spain, in Madrid. And I will talk about uh, uh, what happened between the year 2015 in which I uh, created this group and almost 10 years later now uh, where we are. This picture was taken a lot of years ago in this, <laughs> this group uh, that I created in uh, Media Lab Prado, a cultural center in, in Madrid, um, where I was, uh, I was creating this group because I wanted to, to help people to enter in the world of Wikipedia um, and because I was making a research and trying to understand uh, understand why people didn't uh, went to the to uh, didn't edit in Wikipedia, and I realized there was uh, a couple of problems. Uh, the first one was very um, obvious that uh, many people didn't know about the tool, how to edit, how to enter, how to uh, enter content, and and then um, I, I realized that there was another problem that I really didn't know about. There was a lot of people that didn't feel they um, could uh, participate in this uh, movement. And there was the, even uh, this woman that told me mm, this sentence that I, I repeat a lot of times because I think it's very significant. It's like, um, uh, <laughs> como era? Um, sorry. Um, like, um, me quedo en blanco. Que no, ahora mismo no me sale. No. Um, well, she didn't feel like she could uh, enter information about history because she uh, she thought that only experts people could do it. So uh, she wasn't like um, very afraid that she couldn't. Uh, do anything, uh, put anything about about their knowledge in in this tool. Uh, so what happened is that I realized that I should offer a space to to these people to change this idea that you only have uh, have to be an expert to participate in Wikipedia. So between this picture and the next picture, that is this year, uh, and the group has create, uh, has grown up, and we are a very different project now. Uh, I'm going to talk about three different uh, parts that I think uh, they are important uh, to create this Wikisfera formula that I think is in, in interesting, uh, because we have created this strong community of, of women, and we have we are having a, a very good time together editing Wikipedia. So uh, what I think is important is to create this feminist, safe, and open space. Um, in general, women, we are a lot with a lot of, um, I don't know, uh, things to do. And if you you tell that these women, they have to come to a, to a place every single day, every single week, Every single month, they have to make this commitment with a with a project, with an activity, with a workshop. You are putting a lot of pressure in them. So I realized that it was better to um, to have this space open for anyone, but you don't have to commit to to the every single meeting we have. You can come wherever you want, wherever you can, the time you can, the time you want. Um, and. I also try to change uh, the, this idea that the academy is the way, or the academic style is that you, you have to translate, uh, uh, to teach others about your, uh, the knowledge in an academic way. So I changed that because I wanted uh, this, these people uh, learn together what we, we, we had to do when we entered in Wikipedia. Uh, I think that's important because in general, women, we think that uh, maybe we are not close to technology or something like that. And maybe because we have parents or brothers that they feel, make us feel like we are useless in this world of technology. So um, I wanted like, 
uh, what happens if we go together and we uh, face together the problems we find in, in editing Wikipedia? Uh, then maybe we realize that we are very able to do anything we want editing Wikipedia. Uh, also, I think it's very important to have these in-person uh, meetings because uh, when you want to create a community, you need to feel feel the things we are doing uh, with other pe persons and having a, a space where where we can share things in 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 person in person meetings. But also having the virtual meetings after um, the pandemic year, I think it's also important to. Uh, offer the, uh, that space to other people that can, maybe they cannot go to the um, in-person meetings, but they can connect sometimes to the virtual meetings. Uh, and also, we, we have this space uh, that is open and, and we, we try to decide the things we do in an horizontal way, uh, trying to break also the thing that maybe I'm the project manager because I have this title, but we all are going to talk about and we are decided we want to go this way or that way. And the very important thing I put in the last, uh, in the last point is with threads. In Spanish, we call it chuches. And this is very important because this is not only candies and chocolate, it's what it represented. It represents taking care of each other, making a space comfortable for, uh, and fun. And we meet every single Monday Sometimes some uh, of, of the people is new. So some of the people is the people that is a, a, a more habitual from of the group. But uh, we try to have all these treats uh, in all our meetings because uh, it's something when we meet that uh, we are doing it for for having fun. We are editing, but. It's not the end. The editing, the, to be together is the is the is the process, and and to have fun with each other, and then we edit. <laughs> the second step is uh, also engaging events uh, to attract editors. Uh, instead of having editatons to create content as an object and as a goal, what what I realized is also that when you have people together in a room uh, and they don't work together, you are, um, I don't know, like uh, you are not uh, using this time to make a connection between people. So um, it's important that people that don't know anything about Wikipedia can come to an event and don't have to take notes and don't have to this idea that you have to learn everything now if you want to to edit if you don't you don't know everything about it you are not going to be able to publish so i wanted to change that i wanted to change that in a way that everybody could come and every, everybody could publish because what i say is like don't worry about what do you know do you don't know and follow what we are doing together we are going to publish all together and you are going to have this experience. If you enjoy the experience, the process, and you see, it's fun, I like it. I like this um, uh, documentation job. Uh, we invite you to the, um, the, the in-person events, the weekly events, because maybe you can learn, but in your own time, you don't need to pressure yourself to learn everything in order to publish. Um, also important for us, there is uh, in these activities is not a competition, so it's important because uh, do you know like um, if we feel like you, we have to publish um, more articles in uh, in order to, for example, gain a prize, uh, is something that is not nice. I mean, we are doing this together because we enjoy editing and we have this goal to be civilized women or minorities. That's great. We don't need to, to compete each other. So what we do is to give a book related to the theme we are t uh, doing in this editatona and, and the book uh, is a present I mean, it's a way to take care of the people and say that it's wonderful to have you here, even though you don't have anything uh, uh, before about uh, this th theme. It doesn't matter. You are going to create a content because we are going to be with you creating it. You are going to publish and you are going to uh, have the experience. Later, if you don't like it, don't worry. The 
the article is already uh, in Wikipedia, and you have you have contributed visibilizing this woman. Also important, threats. We need chuches. We need chuches in all of, of events. Um, the third, the third part, a structure to foster autonomy. Um, I was very, I mean, I didn't know how to do that. I did when I created in 2015 Wikisfera. I didn't know and didn't think that, think about it. Um, but at the end of the day, you are going to have a core team. Maybe the core team is two people, uh, and then you are going to have people that. It comes and goes, and it's normal. And you don't have to feel that that is a failure. That's a very, very important success because it's normal that in a movement like this, that is so open, there are people that come and goes, and it's okay. Uh, but also, it's important to create uh, the user group, uh, for example, because that's going to allow you to access to different kind of resources, not only money, but for example, to participate in an events like this. Uh, we also have created this Consejo de Sabias, like, um, I don't know, Council of Wisdom Women, uh, and it's our tool of governance. And I think it's something that is not very common, and I feel very comfortable with this uh, uh, not so common structure to governance. It's, uh, we are all together, we speak uh, to each other, we uh, share what we are doing and what we have done in the past, and we decide together uh, the future steps. And very important, uh, I think this model is, uh, is um, replicable. Um, we have created a, a model that I think is like a fork. In When you, we talk, you talk about uh, software, Fork is a way like you take something that maybe is uh, the core of, of the core of this project, and you create another project, but has something in common. But you personalize, you make it in your own context with your own characteristics, and that's kind of uh, what I think have happened. For example, well, the, with threads is because everything is with threads. Uh, this this now this this fork. For example, I'm going to put you this example. Wikiragon. Wikiragon is a project. Uh, is in the in Aragon. That this is a, a community that is very close to Madrid. And uh, I was invited in 2020 in December to organize an editatona. And two people in this group, John and Anna, they fell in love with the project and the idea to meet with other women and create uh, profiles and biographies and content about women in Wikipedia. Uh, women from their own land, their uh, Aragon uh, uh, region. So they have created this space and they have their own rules, their own uh, schedules. They meet uh, once in a month in person, but they have uh, a telegram group to coordinate. And they have mm, taken this idea that we learn and we learn with the others. So. Uh, it's not, we need somebody to teach us. It's like we are learning together and we are uh, growing up together. And the other thing about these three points we have seen, the consequence, uh, apart from, from this, uh, mm, I don't know, like new projects that have born uh, mm, with this idea that Wikisphere we have, uh, is the projection that the project has had. Uh, and I am going to share you <laughs> this picture that because I'm very proud that we have been able to <laughs> thank you <laughs> I don't know I feel like it's a recognition uh, for an international uh, newspaper uh, to to do that with our project and I don't know remember but the picture is in the same I mean uh, the, the photograph was there and the picture here is the photograph of picture and the first one is, was mine and if you want to read the the, the article is in that uh, cure and I want to finish um, because I want to share this presentation with uh, another colleagues uh, and friends, and because they are the this other fork that uh, I think, thanks to Wikisfera, has born uh, in 2019. Uh, so I'm going to introduce you to 
Flavia, Doria, and Ana Braganza, Wiki Editoras LX. Thank you. Well, thank you so much. I think the space that um, Wikisphere and Patricia has uh, created for us today is a reflection on the, all the generosity that she has shared with us along these years. And it's a good example of uh, how communities can thrive through this flow of love, actually. And our group, Wikiditores LX, was born in 2019, uh, precisely through an editathon that was organized by Tila Capelletto, that I know some of you know here. We are very thankful to her. And Tila, she had edited with Patricia in Madrid in 2015. In 2015. And, and when she moved to Portugal and she was looking for a community, she decided, okay, I want to have what I saw Wikisfera is doing in Madrid, but here in Lisbon. And that's when she decided to, to organize an editathon. And I happened to be there and also looking for a community. And I joined this editathon that she organized during the feminist um, festival in Lisbon 2019 that she also invited Patricia to come, Patricia, and uh, to facilitate the event. And I also fell in love. I mean, it was a, f a flux of people falling in love through Wikipedia. And I got very emotional just before hearing you talk, because I remember coming to you during this editathon. It's going to be like an emotional moment now. And saying that I really loved when I published, you know, this magical moment when you published for the first time. And, and you told me, oh, I can see you have potential. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, here we are five years later. <laughs> and, yeah, so, um, you know, I feel that the most important of this passage of knowledge was how much time we gained through this. We didn't go through the same mistakes Patricia had been, Wikisfera had been, and we, could ha we were able to grow much faster. We are now on the second year of our um, general support fund, and, and we are reaching institutions, more community, growing more and more, and that's, that's really important for us. So thank you so much for tracing the, the path for us before. And with this emotion, I forgot, so I'm going to pass what I have to say more. <laughs> so I'm going to pass to Flavia. <laughs> Thank you, Anna. Thanks, everyone. And thanks, Patricia. This is very generous. Um, as Anna was saying, um, we feel that we were a little bit of ahead of the other user groups that are um, be being built from scratch. And because this formula that she presented, we always felt like... Um, we had this mentality of fostering other communities uh, because when someone is so generous to you, you want to pass this generosity around. And we feel the same way. We feel that anything we can do in this community to help other communities to, uh, to grow faster, not committing the same mistakes, uh, we feel that we want to help them in the same way. And we had uh, also a story because we had an editor. They name, their name is Pamina. Uh, they are from Luanda, but they are, yeah, Luanda, Angola. And they are often in Portugal. And they are a, a close friend from, for, from Anna. They edit with us. And there was a moment when they go back to Angola and... They wanted, they were so, you know, we're here talking about how Wikipedia is so important for us because everything that we're saying, it's not contributing to a project. This is not about having a hobby. For us, this is about creating safe space for women from non-binary people. We're talking about building community. People have this necessity of community. And, you know, this is contagious. 
And <laughs> Pamina felt that way, and they want to create the same thing in Angola. Also because they are a social, uh, how can I say a that? Movement, uh, movement a movement leader in their community. Um, so Pamina wanted to do the same in Luanda, and this is amazing for, for us because I think it's important to say that Wiki Editores LX, we happen to be the first um, well, the third user group in the whole community, and Portuguese is a very large community, um, and we are the first one focused on gender. So we re truly believe in the importance of our work. Uh, and now Pamina is starting this that I hope <laughs> to be the next, um, the next generation and the next group in the Portuguese-speaking community uh, in Luanda. And what we decided to do is to put that in our plan because we have a strategic plan, because we are funded. So we decided to put the support in a way that is sustainable for all of us and we can help them um, and try to do what Patricia did for us. And we don't know about the future, but they are very engaged. Yesterday, one of one of the people from this community were texting Anna and asking for help about editing. So for us, is being available to them. That's the, the key point, being available to give all the support that we have. Of course, we are learning a lot yet about documentation, you know, to, to build a structure from our work in a way that it's easier to pass on. We've been thinking a lot about education. We've been thinking a lot about how can we, you know, help each other with other user groups and other communities. And there's so much time. <laughs> uh, also, I think it's important to say um, a lot of things that Patricia helped us. You know, it seems so simple in bullet in bullet points, uh, but there's a lot of knowledge that it's very strategic and it's not just about funding or how to edit or how to build community, but also, you know, how to make this work uh, fast or, for example, how to make this work very focused in our mission. We have the same mission and I think it's a mission to fill the gaps in Wikipedia or in the Wikimedia movement, but also uh, to build a community that make women closer to technology because Patricia was talking about all these challenges that we face. This is a historical problem. <laughs> and well, there's a lot to say about our work. But I don't know if Anna wants to add something. <laughs> Maybe just, just to, um, to say what's happening in this picture. It was last year, uh, Wiki Luanda applied for the first rapid grant to do a very like, seminal workshop on you know, trying to reach out to people. They're saying, oh, there's this thing called Wikipedia, you can contribute to it. So they had this two-day workshop. And on the first day, we, we, us and Black Lunch Table shared our experience creating community and working with wiki projects. And then the second day, they had this editathon. And you see, we were just projected on that wall <laughs> and, you know, talking to an in-person group. So this also challenged us to find ways to overcome our you know obstacles in order to to support you know uh, communities that are yeah. you know happening whatever uh, and it has been a good challenge also to support this group because I mean we as a, a group that also I mean we are we are based in Portugal we are not I'm Portuguese but Flavia yeah. is Brazilian and we believe in also a very decolonial approach to the work we do and so having a this, because yeah, for the ones who don't know the Lusophone community, it's very centered in this, you know, uh, binomial, Portugal, yeah. Brazil. And so for it, we believe that it's very important to decentralize or uh, to create another node yeah. uh, on this equation. So that's why also it's important for us to give the support to, the, to this community. Are we finished? Yeah. Thank you. Here are our <laughs> contacts. If you want to know more, follow us. <laughs> questions? <laughs> Somebody have questions? I can give the mic. Yes. <laughs> 
Well, this is not a question. I belong to the Wikisfera group. <laughs> I started on February uh, 2023 in a virtual space because I do not live in Madrid. I live in Galicia, in the northwest of Spain. And I've been uh, working with Wikisfera in a virtual way. And well, the feelings, even I'm not in person, I don't have treats. They didn't send <laughs> treats to Vigo. <laughs> but uh, um, uh, from the very first moment, I felt very welcomed. And um, they, they explained everything about how to start editing. I didn't know anything about it. And well, this autumn, uh, I will start uh, a new work group in, in Vigo, in my, in my city. <laughs> thanks to the... This is the official announcement. Yeah, <laughs> thanks to, to the to Wikisfera uh, uh, group. And, well, what can I say? I'm, I'm thrilled to be here in this Wikimania. It's my first, of course. <laughs> and, well, uh, all the, you know, the Wikisfera team is, is, I mean, it's marvelous. Uh, I'm happy... In, I having uh, such a good time that now I want to um, uh, be able to transfer all this knowledge and all these feelings and to to the new group in in Vigo. So thank you very much, Patricia. But also my my companions here. This just was uh, a great to have you here. Thank you, Isabella. <laughs> Thank you. We're very impressed with what you managed to do there. So I was just talking to my German colleague. How do you manage to be so attractive for such a large number of young women? Where did you find all those people? I mean, of course, charisma, but it can't be all. What's your secret? Chuches. <laughs> No, no. We I don't think, know beforehand. Yeah, I know. Uh, I think uh, um, maybe it can sound like um, very silly, but um, the fact that you are in a, in a place, in a public space, because it was at a cultural center when I started, every single Monday from 6 to 9, open to anybody, and to establish that as a place where you can go wherever you want, and also created these editatonas, like thematic editatonas, to visibilize women uh, of, uh, and, and we also invite, for example, an expert, uh, um, a woman uh, expert in, in that theme. Uh, and usually people come because it's interested in the theme. And, and then they know this, the, the project, the, 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 the user group, and maybe they join to the, to the, the, every, the, the, the weekly uh, meets. And that's I mean, that's the way it was, it was happening. But at the beginning, was not. I mean, I wasn't trying to to, uh, to create this space. It's something that happened because we were there <laughs> all together. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Another session. <laughs>